Time to look at some rare moments. Now, they could be lucky, they could be unlucky, they could be insane failures like this one, or just using the enemy players like their aim labs like this one. No matter what, there's only one main rule while making this video. They should just be plays that you don't see every single day when playing Valorant. One enemy remaining. <gasps> Combo right here. Yeah, yeah. Careful now. Only land A. Watch your eyes. Watch your eyes. Oh, that Please, uh, yeah, that's Low key, he kind of cooked. Now, it's kind of rare to see any Phoenix play because he's rarely ever picked. But this one's a lot more rare because this player's sixth sense just got completely activated. I don't know where it came from. Last player standing. Attackers. We know that Cypher tends to die in Valorant cinematic trailers, and this guy ended up making his own cinematic kill, and it looked so sick. How do you know? Excuse the stretch resolution, it's worth the clip. I hate this fucking game, that stupid fucking character. Some copyright music, so I have to kind of talk a little bit, but this clip is definitely worth it. They go to push to defuse the spike, and Brimstone shoots their molly straight up into the air, and uh, luckily, this is how it turns out. Uh, no, you can do it. Oh, wait, <laughs> I have bounced off a joint because I had a head to put the <laughs> Last player standing. Bro, why do Sage mains always be playing hide and seek with their wall, especially in lower elo, man? I swear Sage mains will plant this spike, hide themselves and the spike in in a corner and just go full rat mode. But hey, if it works, it works. One enemy remaining. Not gonna lie, this, this clip is actually insane. Like, this clip is genuinely insane. Oh yeah! Monster on the loose! <laughs> in this next clip unfortunately literally blasting imagine dragon music but they get the triple kill and only jet is remaining they know exactly where the enemies are and then patience hits and right when she hears all the footsteps run away she goes in with the smoke and the secret diffuse and they all start rushing back and it gets closer and closer but luckily no. Bro, I swear, I know shorts are okay to use copyright music, but god damn! Anyways, good ninja defeat. Shadows traveling. One enemy remaining. Flawless. Like, bro, what the fuck? we can talk about is today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Exit Lag and I want to show you how to get lower ping for an extremely affordable price but let me explain what Exit Lag is. They have a host of games, way too many to count, so we're just going to search the one that matters to us today which is Valorant. I'm going to go ahead and click on Valorant and you can see there's a lot of things that look more complex than they really need to be. So what I do is I'm just going to click the little optimize button and let the app do its own thing. After less than a minute it's going to finish optimizing and basically what it's doing is it's just a route optimizer. And once that's set up, you can hit apply route, I can hop into Valorant, and then after just a second, I'll tap back out and you're going to see that it has routed me through New York. Now, of course, this is not my IP. This is the game server's IP, and you can see that I'm getting 13 milliseconds or 13 ping to the New York server. And where this is going to be even more useful is if you're in a household where a lot of people are using the internet, it's going to go ahead and separate, allowing for a smoother connection. What it really does is help stability. Here's before exit lag and here's after exit lag, but of course, it'll vary depending on your specific situation but overall it'll make things cleaner it'll stabilize your packet loss which is the most important for some smooth gameplay and you can get one month free or up to 44 percent off the annual plan today so check it out using the link down below and thanks again to exit like for sponsoring today's video Bye. all right welcome back and for this clip let me just say it is something else look in the camera 
Amalia, look the camera. This clip might not make a lot of sense. Pay attention to the mic. This was when there was the open mic bug. Man, never forget. Oh, these rounds are so close. What type of haircut do you ask for? I love it so much. Um, I got a hush cut. A hush cut or something called a wolf cut. Um, Basically, it's just like a lot of layers and it's heavier on top. And then uh, the bottom layers are really like thin. Could you explain that again, please? Huh? Oh, what the heck? Are we part of the chat? <laughs> um, no, no. I was talking to my little sister on FaceTime. Yeah. <laughs> Time to take a small 180 and watch a little bit of 2000 IQ pro plays. Forwards. Haunt, haunt, broken, tags it in the smoke, forward, Sancho's backwards, a boundless second, he let the rocket loose, and Sentinel's no way! From the jaws of defeat, they're trying to take it back, Magnum has taken so much damage in the mix of things, 3 HP, Spike, retrieved, back and away, not quite, it's dropped down, and Sentinel's out of nowhere! You're joking! And there's a lot of weaknesses for them. This is again going to be somewhere they hope I to like just the blitz. Idea. The wall up to block out the dart is beautiful, but they still have to swing in to Smoggy. And that's where the real trouble begins. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay. You can't give something anything! And the bait across as well from Munier is gorgeous. Finally, they managed to deal with him. Something down. And now they've gone for the TP, but this is somewhat of a ruse. Left Bro, the score is 12-12. You don't know what to do, so you pull out the freaking Odin and do this. How would you react if the enemy did this to you? Circle. Hit 140. Raise this. Hit 140. One enemy remaining. Whoa. One HP. Whoa. Oh, oh, and then the util flying, there is that stand still, grasping them, and now the aftershock as well, it's pushed them wide out into the open, where are the kills? This time, it's a feed filling up with red side, making the most of it, he's dropped all the way down, that is insane! Two fast ones, rips them apart, Sadak still alive, with the shot, pick it up, son, get the upgrade, get the bloody so for a little bit of context, uh, I guess it is somewhat rare. It was on my stream. I was playing with Ethos as a plat player. Ethos is Radiant, and this is what happened. A player known for clutch moments, highlights, and montaging, well... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I feel God, that. dude. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Nice try. Right, nice try. <laughs> I, just, I just can't hit that shit, bro. That's just not happening. Oh, no, man. You, you should go now. Go bro. now, go now. No text him, text him. Uh, text him, probably. run, run. Oh no, oh no, where the fuck go? Oh! Your tweet works, your tweet works. No way, no one is getting him off the shot. It's late. Wait, what? No kills coming through. What the but fuck? I didn't even realize he was just the bomb. To steal away the no! <laughs> what just happened? What? Wait, I didn't even notice he was defusing. Just as easy as Hello? What the fuck? They matched it. They got the They walk up to the spike and they get it for free. I thought this was the beginning of the end for Xset in this round. But no, it just worked perfectly. Oh! Uh, they call it the Rosa for a reason, and seeing Rosa pull it off himself live is a pretty rare moment, even if it's a funny one. You play first, okay, baby? I am live myself to keep myself. Play first, play first. Live yourself, you can't play first. Here comes the party! Clutch! <laughs> Dude! Rosa! You aim at the Rosa! <laughs> bro, that really is named after you, bro. I'm not gonna cap. Oh that really God. is named after you, bro. Alright, fake clone. Yes, I think it's weak. Fake clone? Yeah. Yes. Nah, the angle was too good, bro. Oh! Oh! oh. Wait! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Time to jump. Yo, don't you do it again? You think that again? again? <laughs> Yo, they'll fall. <laughs> Wait, it's slow though, yeah. Real clone, real clone, real clone. It was gonna work. 
<laughs> he stopped shooting it. <laughs> the best fake clip is when you do it every time. <laughs> Listen, I love those clips, the ones that I can relate to, the ones that I can pull off, like that Yoru one. But let's head back to the pro scene and see some 2000 IQ moments. Just that quickly, Khan Khan, I don't know where this guy was the last two maps, but he certainly turned up today. Three kills already, and well, it doesn't look too good for Paper X. You might think this is an ego, but it's not. The weaker weapon on Forsaken, good for two. Maybe more to be found, but nobody low. He's 90 no. HP, fighting another three. Oh, and a five for Forsaken. An ace to put in the first round on the board for Paper X. Unbelievable. Come out first. Will get cleared, and that's going to be him TPing back. Now, though, you know, can start pushing forward and garnering some space for themselves as Keiko oh! oh! slows down three outside of C. Taking that back. Low HP remaining on him, but now has a showstopper available. Oh, and without and the spike getting planted, T1, they just have to wait. They don't know where it's coming from. They're not sure which direction it's going to be. Showstopper does get popped early. Keiko suspecting that someone's still going to be hovering nearby, and he is correct and will be rewarded now, is on for an ace. Potentially our second one here of this match. Holding the line, Excurate. One standing between them, but man, oh. he's instantly gotten it. A second ace for TL. Three, that just suddenly makes the round so much easier. Gets the anti-flash on his own. And, Absolutely. The, oh, Gorgeous control. And the way they were set up too, right? Nat so far behind on mount draws all the attention. And Keiko able to just focus on his own shot. Do you get an alt on Sadak? Do you get an alt on Less? Is it different? Do you let him get it down and get the alts that way? Loud's gonna be able to circulate these alts in the next few rounds. Saucy gets the plant and beautiful that he can work off of it with Wingman here. Thrash is available. If this goes down, Saucy may go all out. That would be such a gamble, but look at him. It would be. He's gonna hear all of these rotates, so he's trying to get an angle. He's trying to get a surprise attack. Here's our first jump spot. Here's two crossing over. The third one already made it through. So Saucy now has a timing. Behind the three players allowed, throws it in across. There's a snake by Torch Bay. Now it's being watched. There's oh, four by two, and he will have all the kit left now on his Gecko kit. The mod's been going down, forced the halfway. Out of position now. Less far there away. Is. There's that thrash coming out too from the front of the pillar, and Less even has to pull back towards the market. It does not hit him though, but that clock is ticking down. Sassy's oh, getting out of his box. away for the time. Gets it done, and Sassy wins a three on one against Loud. The saucy call outs come out as his plays go down. What a pivotal kill, too, for tens. For Sentinels to understand the tiles push has been such a priority for Loud. They instantly attack back, snap back at Loud's push when QCK comes around the corner. One side, or two main, one side. And the stall there is permanent. Yeah, I can force him off. Oh, the angle. Hey. my fellow seconds. closer. Brings it down to two. He can get this spike now. There's a decent amount of time as well. Check this out. Crunch running already, that G2. motherfucker. Assume he gets this. Trent hears the footsteps. He knows Zelsus is coming. Is Zelsus ready for this? Does he have any idea? Trent's just on the other side. What? Fuck me now. Fuck me now. Fuck me now. Fuck me now. Now down to the 1v1, but he's getting flanked. Is he aware? Oh! Oh! Leave Yeah, stand the fuck up. Holy shit! Flanked. Is he aware? Oh! No. What? Oh! 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 Oh!